Hi everyone, this is Susan Warren, your instructor for Tech Math Online, and this is a view of your Canvas site. I'm on student view right now, so this should show the same thing that you will see. These buttons, when I set them up, all look the same size, but depending on the computer and the screen resolutions, and I don't really know, it do, they don't always end up being the same size like they originally, or at least close to the same size. Anyway, all of these are clickable buttons that you can use in the course and you can find everything that you need to find for the class um, with these buttons and also then this menu over on the side. Right here you can see that I have an open announcement, a welcome announcement for you to read, and then various things that you can view uh, from the course menu and then the other buttons that I've added. What I want you to do is just get in here and start clicking on these these menu items, these buttons that I have here, and you can navigate through the course this way. Notice over here you have a to-do list. I want to caution you on using the just exclusively using the to-do list because that could cause you to miss out on some of the assignments that you need to do, so be sure and be careful on that. And so if you were to click on any of these, of course it would take you somewhere, but right now I'm going to click on start here. It is important that you go through the start here module. And I notice I have prerequisites. Start here is a prerequisite for your lesson one. So you wouldn't be able to unlock lesson one until you go through and, and view or mark as done each one of these Notice on the flip grid I didn't put view, so I'll have to, to put that on there. But here's a lot of information that you can read through on this first screen. I'm going to put the video I'm making right now here, <laughs> so you will, you will be able to watch it from there. And then you just click next. And notice also it says mark as done. I talk about that right here. That's something that you have to do so that you can make it to the next lesson is mark done or view each page of each lesson. Let me click next. Then you can see this is the page that has my teaching schedule. It also has the schedule for this class all on one page. And so then you're able to look at this and see what else coming up. And your first lesson needs to be completed by Monday of the 24th of January and you want to actually get started on that this week because if you wait until Monday then you're trying to just do everything in one day and that's really not a productive way to learn so be sure and get started as soon as you work your way through the start here module and then I'm not going to go through the entire module but I'm going to go back to um, notice you can always just click on modules to get back to any of the modules that I have set up my lab information explains how to sign up for my lab basically you need this code first and so you can before you click here so read this get your code click here okay and so once you get your code and keep clicking until it keep clicking until it allows you to copy your code and then you click on my lab and mastering and then it's just do this and just work your way through. So it kind of takes you through all the steps. You have to accept this and so on. And then at some point, it'll have you put in that code. So you need to use the start here menu. And if you should have any trouble with this, you can always zoom with me and I can walk you through it. So don't let it be one of those kind of things that stresses you out because it is certainly something that's not that hard to get signed up for it, you just may need some extra instructions on it if you're not familiar with these types of things so that's where you do your homework it also has something called a study plan and then um, I will probably make a separate video to put in about my lab because I feel like that's that's really helpful so I'm not going to go into too much of it right now um, the my lab information is the same thing you see in the start here menu I just have it there too <clears throat> tutoring is always available for you uh, in tech math so if the tutoring center is open or if they're online you can get tutoring for tech math so don't forget about that because it can be very helpful this is information about me 
and my office hours and the times when I'm in class. This just gives you an idea. Like if you said, I would just like to try to call her. Well, maybe you call me during my office hour and you you would be able to talk. Or you want to set up a Zoom session uh, for my office hour. Remind is a uh, text messaging app that is very helpful for keeping up the communication between you and me and just in general I will send you out announcements about different things or, or, or just little notes hey don't forget about your homeworks due and that kind of thing um, resources just has some different things on there this takes you to the lessons but so does modules so you know I have different ways that you can get there that's the zoom link so if we ever set up a zoom this is where you would go to get that started and then um, basically just get on here and click on stuff click on everything that you see and just get started with um, all the things that are important to know right in the beginning don't forget about your syllabus the remind sign up for the text messaging it tells you what you need to do please read all of this before you send me or before you sign up or anything so that you do that correctly <coughs> I'm going to leave student view so that I can show you the syllabus real quick. So I'm not a student in the class. If I click on the syllabus while I'm in student view, it doesn't show me anything. So here is your um, syllabus and it really is a good idea to read through this and understand how the class works. And then if you have any questions, of course, you can text me or you can email me or you can even call me on my office numbers on there. Well, I hope this is helpful. It's basically about how do I navigate Canvas and get started and you just don't want to wait on the getting started. Bye everyone.